Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Final Fantasy 13. I'm your host, Dark Mazda for Dark Mazda Series Gaming. And if you are liking the content so far, please like and subscribe. We're going to continue with our adventure now and we're going to finish off on the airship and confront Disley, the Primarch. Colonel Jill Nabart is growing frantic. All her carefully laid plans and contingencies are crumbling around her as the seemingly unstoppable Lassie rampage through the ship. To, to make matters worse, the airship's main reactor has suddenly shut down. Jill has yet to grasp what is behind the loss of power. Saz and Vanille are able to retrieve their equipment soon after escaping confinement. At the same time, their companions make good progress as routes open up across the ship and the sudden engine failure has quieted the wind howling across the deck. As if guided by fate, the Lassie are reunited and their success gives them renewed vigour to attempt the impossible. And now, at last, they know what they have to do. They will topple the Sanctum, overturn False rule and put the fate of Cocoon in the hands of the people. If they can just make it to the bridge of the Palamasea, they'll show the Primarch what Lassie are really capable of. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XIII. I'm your host today, Dark Master for Dark Master Series Gaming. Just got to apologise for the last episode. For some reason, um, the game music wasn't very loud and I'm not sure why. These strange things always happen to me when I'm recording. Um, I either have echoey microphones, I have low quality video, um, the sound doesn't play, the list goes on, PC problems, you know, it just happens. But anyway, we're going to continue on, we're going to try and collect everything in this area um, as we aim to get all the way down to that area at the bottom of this uh, chasm here. So here we go. So let's head over to the left first. Also got to apologise for the um, tapping of my controller buttons. Um, it was very noticeable with the game music being down uh, in the last episode. Anyway, we made our way over here and we found a chest. So we're going to open that. And we found a labour score. That's pretty cool. And we're going to go up here if it'll let us. And get right in the corner. As we notice there's a chest right up in here. And we're just going to go down section by section when we do go down. I wonder what's in this chest. Pain dampener. Also we've got a couple of those now. Pretty cool. What does this do? Is this in case we get stuck up here? So we're going to poke our heads over the top of here. We're not going to go down just yet. We're just going to have a quick look to see if there's any chests or anything. It doesn't seem to be. So we'll head over to the right hand side now. And we'll get into the corner of the other place. There is an enemy there waiting for us. I think we can handle them. Like a Thermodon or whatever it's called. But it has noticed us. It shouldn't be a problem. We can win if we stay focused. <laughs> Oh, 
as easy as that. So we're heading up to the top corner of this area as well. So if that other one was the pain dampener, is it this, this other one, the white scarf thing? Two rune bracelets. I'm intrigued, I need to see now. Is this magic 10%? Magic resistance 10%. Oh, great. Poke our red over the top. See what we've got. Well, there is another chest here, so if we go down a level. everybody that's on this level just so we know we've fully explored can we get them in a preemptive I think we can down to this level now that we've finished this 
this one and straight away we've seen another chest hopefully it's something nice Three thousand six hundred gil. Well, that is nice. Can't see anything so far, so we're gonna head over to here. down oh dear okay, so get these guys while we're here not gonna lie that one was a tough battle so next level down we've got a, a long line that goes to the back and there's a chest there I'm presuming it's the same at the other side. Head straight for that um, chest at the far end, and we'll come back here and finish off later. There's another chest in the middle section as well. So I wonder what's in this. Perfect conductor. Nice to have.
Well, we don't need to go back up to that area, but uh, we're just filling it out because we can. And the next stop is that chest right at the back there, and then we on to the centre area. And I believe we're facing uh, Disney. See what a gold bangle does. HP two hundred and fifty. One more chest to collect, and that's in the centre area. Save it, and we're going to check our crystarium. So that one's complete. Command, oh no, the commando roll isn't quite complete. It is now. We are going to go for the Ravager next. Quite get to to there. So next we're going for hope. We're just going to um, increase the ones that um, we've got in our party at the moment. I believe we just need to get to here. There we go. Uh, that's complete. That's complete. Just the rest of the ravage, you know. Done all of the commando, it's all of the, just the rest of that to do, and it's just um, leveling up the sentinel for her now. Okay guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Final Fantasy Thirteen. I have tried to defeat Bartandalus, um, but I have failed miserably a couple of times and because the battle's so long, um, I decided to leave it for the next episode. So I hope you don't mind. Um, thank you very much for joining me um, this episode. If you've liked the content so far, please like and subscribe. And until next time, that's goodbye from me, and I will see you guys on the flip side.